So hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I have met me Mr. Ravi Bindi, who is a professional real estate agent for the past 18 years. And in this interview, we are going to ask him few questions about the current real estate market of Canada. How, what should people do in this market? And what are the tips that he can give to us if we are interested in buying a property right now? So let's get right into it. Hi Ravi, thank you so much for your time and doing this interview. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this uh, opportunity to do this interview. <laughs> okay. So my first question to you would be about the obsession, you know, people have uh, in the Canadian real estate market. Everyone yes. wants to buy real estate over here. You know, people who already own real estate, they want to buy additional properties. So why is there so much craze about the real estate market in this country? So that's a great question. If you look at the city of Vancouver, it has been quoted as one of the best cities to live in year over year. Mm -hmm. We have positive inward migration, Yes, right? 400,000 people are expected to move into BC, um, into Canada, I mean, mm -hmm. every year for the next four or five years. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the supply chain also in Canada, we have, we're not building enough homes yeah. for the amount of people moving in. Yeah. And if you look at the economic cycle as well, you can actually do really well when it comes to real estate. Yeah. So a lot of people want to buy real estate for that reason, because they know that low supply, high demand will increase prices. Definitely. Yeah. Because the real estate is appreciating year over year. Correct. For the past, I think, two decades at least. Yes. And maybe more than that, that is one of the main reasons people are interested Correct. Right, in buying real estate. Correct. Yes. But... Uh, if we talk about the current scenario, right? People mm -hmm. were saying that, you know, Canadian real estate always increases in value. You know, you will always get appreciation on your property. Yes. But recently the prices have, you know, dropped a bit. Correct. So what do you think, you know, the future holds for the real estate market? So I think one has to understand the economic cycle. We're mm -hmm. going through a cycle where Bank of Canada is trying to control inflation, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And the only way to control inflation is to increase the rates and when they increase the rates our mortgage rates go up as well mm. and the only way to decrease demand is by increasing interest rates okay when they decrease demand that's what pushes the prices down because now there's not many buyers who qualify for a mortgage mm. and that is short-term lived mm. right this is a, a great time to buy real estate when it slows down. But if you were to draw two lines for last, let's say 30 years, and draw two lines where the peak of the market is and the bottom of the market is, two lines would be going up this way, okay. right? In Calgary, for example, the, the market goes flat. Yes. The appreciation doesn't happen as much. Mm -hmm. Where in Vancouver, appreciation goes up, prices go up quite a bit okay. here. Right? Okay, so maybe Right now, the prices are going down, but eventually the prices will come up. Yeah, so one has to understand that we go through the economic cycle and prices do come down. But then when we go through the expansion phase of the economic cycle, mm -hmm. you will see that the rates lower down and then the economy does well, housing does well. Okay, right? so the right now the demand is low, so the prices are coming down. Correct. And if the rates go down, the demand will increase and increase. the prices will go up. Correct. So since you brought the topic of, you know, the interest rate, yeah. what do you think the rising interest rate and inflation, you know, what are the effects of the interest rate and inflation on the current market? So if you look at inflation, finally, we are seeing inflation numbers come down. They were at 8.3, I mm -hmm. believe, in June. Mm -hmm. uh, July, it was 7.6. Yeah. And now the new numbers show that inflation rate is at 7%. So if the inflation numbers go down at 0.5% every month, mm. it'll take about eight months for inflation to go down to 3%. So once it goes down to between 3 and 2%, we will start seeing rates start coming down yeah. because now Bank of Canada has achieved their target inflation rate. Yes. Right. And this has happened in 2008 financial crisis as well, where rates went up and then they did drop down. Right. Okay. So we're just experiencing this short term pain mm -hmm. and uh, mortgage rates and inflation kind of correlate. OK, so this is technically you are saying is, this is a real estate cycle and this, e this economic cycle, economic cycle. Correct. And, yeah. And this will repeat itself like it did in the 2008. Correct. Period. 
Okay. Yeah. So the rates will not just keep on climbing. Yeah. It yeah. will come down again. Definitely. Yes. Okay. So in such a scenario, you know, people also are interested in buying pre-sales. Mm. You have a lot of experience in dealing with pre-sale properties. So yes. what do you think are the advantages of, you know, buying a pre-sale at this point? So especially in this economy right now, the, the way I see it is there's actually opportunities out there mm -hmm. that people can gain from. Okay. Because there's a lot of developers who are pricing their projects well. And you just have to find these projects. For that reason, we created a website called ipresellcondos.com, mm. which is like a pre-sale condo directory. And we look at a lot of these pre-sale projects and we actually pick out which ones are priced well mm. and then start promoting those to our clients. Okay. Right? Uh, for example, recently I found a pre-sale project that was priced really low. Mm. And I have a WhatsApp group chat going where I presented that project to our, our buyers okay so you just have to do your homework mm. and you have to look at what project is priced at what price and, and how does it compare to last year and is there an opportunity to gain and the second thing I will say is the way developers price their pre-sales mm -hmm. is not the way I as a resale realtor would price those projects when they complete in a resale market Okay. So my job is to look at a pre-sale project and look at their pricing strategy and pick out the units that will do well okay. right from the start. Because okay. I already know what they're pricing, the way they're pricing lower level units or the south facing units. And then I pick out best layouts, the best price units mm. based on just that one thing. Okay. Right. And right from the start. I, I want to make sure that people gain from it. Right? Okay. Yeah. So that is when your expertise comes into play, oh, right? Yeah. Like 18 years of kind of going over all these projects, mm. looking at the layouts, looking at the layouts that don't work mm. and recommending the layouts that actually do really well on the resale forum. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. Since you have, you know, 18 years of experience and yes. let's say somebody wants to buy a property what is the process that you go through with your client, you know, when they're interested in you know, entering the real estate market? So in my 18 years, we have firmly believed in educating and guiding our clients. That's mm -hmm. our firm belief that we're not here to sell anything. A person needs a home. We're here to educate and guide them and kind of coach them into buying their first home, mm -hmm. right? Or their investment property. So we conduct a buyer consultation meeting. Okay. In our buyer consultation meeting, we cover four things. Uh, first thing we cover is market stats. We show them how to read market stats and how to use this information to actually gain financially, mm. right? We show them how the buying process works and what the costs are involved. So it's really important for a buyer to understand from the time that I meet them and till the time I hand them the keys, what goes in between. So there's no surprises. Mm. And the biggest thing is the cost. There's so many different costs involved that you need to know what they are because you don't want to find out that you owe so much more money at a lawyer's office at completion, right? Yeah. So we go over all these things with them. The third thing we cover is mortgage products. We're not mortgage reps, but we know a lot about mortgage products. So we show them which mortgage products to avoid mm. because Let's say they say, Ravi, I need to sell my house in two years. And now they've locked in on a certain type of mortgage. The penalties are hefty, mm. which may cost them a lot to sell that home now. Yeah. So we show them how, like which mortgage products are good and which ones to go with. And the last thing we do is we go through a in-depth buyer questionnaire to understand mm. their needs better. And then based on their needs, we start looking for home for them. So nobody's, we're not wasting their time. They're not wasting ours. No, right? Makes complete yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. So your, you know, advice is different for each client based on their needs. You help them to set up a budget yes. based on their income and savings. Yes. And then you also connect them with the market rep. Correct. You also educate them about the different products they have and how they, they have to budget themselves. So in 18 years, we've gone through many mortgage reps, many inspectors, many lawyers, notaries. And the last thing you want is one of these professionals, well, not so much professionals, to cause so much headache and stress where 
uh, now you're not having a good experience. So we yeah. want to make sure that the people we have handpicked mm -hmm. are one of the best people in, in this industry. All of these professionals have the same belief about educating and guiding their clients. Mm -hmm. So we have connected really well. And what we do is we, we pass on our clients to them. So we know that they'll be taken care of properly. Right? Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. I think you explain the process uh, very in very detail and yes. that's very good for anyone, you know, who is interested in buying real estate, they will understand, you know, these steps are very important. Yes. It doesn't matter who they go with, but it, yeah. these steps are very important, right? hundred percent. Okay. So thank you so much Ravi, for your time and yeah. doing this interview. And I think, uh, you know, your tips and advices will be very helpful for people. Thank you so much. Once again, thank you so much. And thank you to all of you for listening and watching this video. Thank you. Thanks.